Hello, everybody. In this tutorial, you will learn how to bind your model, your business logic in Xamarin to your actual UI. So you can actually do things like bind a variable value that changed in the back end in your model and your business logic to the UI to instantly update the UI when you call something like an API or just a function. And you will also learn how to connect functions from your view, from your model, from your business logic to your UI to automatically update that UI just like it's supposed to be. This is not another flicker your screen with a crazy text freaking spinning around like crazy. That's a total waste of time. I know you guys are probably tired of those tutorials. I was too, that's why I made this video. So without making you guys waste any more time, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So here's the, I'm gonna make this text a little bit bigger, okay. So this is a plain old Xamarin app. It's a tab app. Um, here's, the, here's what you guys are gonna see on the screen. There's this button that says, click me baby one more time. And then we're gonna have display a label up here that has a number so you guys can see how to bind a variable on the UI with a button. So here we go. Um, here is our UI, this is our UI. This is how we connect our model in our UI. This is our actual model, about view model in the system. We need, we have this naming naming convention in Xamarin where the name of our model goes before and after we have the view model prefix that is necessary in every view model that you declare in Xamarin because the system asks for it and will bind to that. So that is a requirement, okay? So, we have our normal label. It's just a line to the center. There's no text in it for now. And we have our button, click me baby one more time. It's all, that's all the, the button says. There's nothing magical, nothing special about it. And here's where the page ends. So you guys can see everything. Okay, so here we have the basic uh, model, our backend. This is not the backend of the view. This is actually the model part. This is not the code behind of the view. This is actually the model part. So, so we're actually binding it. It's not the code behind dirty stuff that you see in every other video. This is actually the fancy stuff that cool, fancy developers do. So if you wanna be a cool, fancy developer, keep watching guys. Okay, so we have the our view about new model. So we just go and do this. I notify property change. This is going to be implemented. This is necessary in order to be able to, now that we, we need to import the using statement first, and then we need to implement the interface. And when we hit that implement interface, we get this line of code. This is the line of code that's going to update our UI automatically when a set property changes in our model. And we can have any number of public variables that we can update in our UI. And you guys will see how it works really soon, really fast, okay? So before we start, I'm gonna copy a small text, small code snippet from my source code over here. So we can just speed things up a little bit more. And here we go. Here we are, uh, this part. Um, let me stop running the, so we don't get this squiggly lines everywhere. Okay, so this part, the event handler that's gonna update our UI, we're not gonna touch it. We're just gonna leave it as is. And here's our, our public property. We're gonna change it to an int. It's going to be called a um, clicks, okay? And we need to have a private version. 
for reasons that I will not explain in this video. Um, int number clicks. Okay, but it's since it's private, it starts with lowercase. Let's uh, declare it as zero for now. Okay, so now we're going to number of clicks, change this value here, because this part of the code, the setter, is going to tell us if our number of clicks, the one that's in our model, has the same value as the one that's trying to be set, the new value is the same as the one that we already have, then we're going to ignore changing the value because we don't want to spend too many resources updating the same value over and over, infinitely looping unnecessarily. So this stops the event of updating the UI when it is not necessary because it doesn't have a value change. So this is checking number of clicks is not equal to value. If it's not equal to value, it means it did change. So we need to update our UI. If it is equal to value, then we don't need to constantly waste time and resources of our system updating a UI that's not necessarily needed to update. So number of clicks uh, will equal value. So we will assign the value here and we will call the event property change invoke property change event arguments answer. So answer is, is wrong. It's from my code snippet. The one that we want to call is actually clicks. Okay, so now we need to change our get getter and we're gonna call it the same name as our private. So this is the way we're publicly going to change our variable that's going to bind to our UI from the logic. We will be able to control this in our logic and it will be reflected on our UI. And that's what we want to do. And we will also show, I will also show you how to connect the UI to your logic with functions. But for now, let me show you how you can update the UI really fast with just bindings from just using the model. We will just use the model. Okay, so here we go. That's done. And when you're in Samarin forms, the view model, since this is a keyword, like I explained in the beginning, this is your actual name of your model. So this will be run by the system when the UI starts automatically in Samarin forms. And bear in mind that this is a Samarin form shell project. So it is running a tab application and it's nothing complicated. It's a basic tab application. It comes from the template. There's no nothing fancy that I added in. It's just the template brand new from the code from the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio team. It's basic template stuff, nothing special here. Okay, so we're just going to add the, we're just going to change clicks, the value of clicks. Okay, guys, um, yeah, here it is. We're going to make it a value of 100 and we will see that in our UI. How we will see that in our UI? Very simple. Here in our label, the font size is set to large. It's set to be in the center, but now we just want to bind our text. So we go to the text property and we apply, we go to the binding property and now we find our clicks variable and it's right here. Our clicks variable is right there. And Let's control save and let's test this. So you guys can see that it is possible to update your UI just from your model. No need to do, use the code behind and have a, that cluttered with stuff. As you can see guys, here is the value of 100 in our, that came from our code behind. There is nothing, not from our code behind, from our model from our model that value came. That is prestige, guys. That's how you are supposed to use Samarin. 
no other tutorial right now on YouTube is teaching you this stuff. It's only me for now. And so let's continue to show you guys how can we trigger functions from our model just using the UI in Xamarin. So let's try and do that right now, guys. Okay, so this is how we can connect a variable from our model to the UI so it can be displayed. So when something updates that variable in the model, it will automatically be updated in the UI. But now we need to be able to run functions, run methods from the model in our UI. How do we do that? Very simple. Already Samarin has shown us a simple way of doing it. But I'm going to show you how to bind that correctly. So um, right here, we have open web command equals new command, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to get this out of the screen. And we're going to create our own command just to show you guys how easy it is to create your own command. Open command. And we're going to call, call this command click me baby one more time okay that's going to be the name of our command it's a very serious name i know try try to stay serious guys and uh continuing here we will actually just call our command click me baby one more time and we will go like this new command just as exactly as Microsoft has already shown us how, but we need to use a Lambda expression. It's always good to use a Lambda expression. You can use a, a long one like the one that I'm using, or you can use your short one. It doesn't really matter. So here we can run all the methods that we want. When we click a button in the UI, this is gonna run all the, the logic methods that we want in our model automatically guys this is how we do it this is the fancy way that most samurai tutorials and other youtube videos are not teaching you how to do it in a simple straightforward way so here we go let's simply just grab our clicks public variable and we just want to add it add one to it each time we click that button we want that ui to run a function in our model and then update that variable in our UI from our model. So how, how simple it is, it's just that simple. I already show you guys, this is all the code you need and you can use this to build whatever app you need. So you can communicate, you have that good communication between your model and your UI, automatically binded, safely binded, no code behind mess, doing it the right MVVM pot pattern. That's the correct way of doing things. And it's not working. <laughs> one second, guys. Just give me one second. So clicks is properly set. This is the little detail, guys. When you make a method, it has it needs permission to have a setter to set values. If it doesn't have that permission, it not it will not set values. So that's a really important little detail. And here we go. Here we will run this bad boy up right now and see what happens. And if it doesn't work, we will figure it out. I will guarantee you that, guys. So not working again. It's making me look bad. Okay, so I'm going to just move this one out. And I'm going to number of clicks, number of clicks is right. A lot of the times when this fails, the answer is right there. It's very simple. It's right just, just there. So property change, event handler, property change. If you guys need the answer really fast, you can just skip ahead and I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out um, quite fast. So, oh, 
I know what the problem is. We never connected our buttons, guys. Silly me. <laughs> That's what happens when you just get nervous, guys. Okay, so command. This is how you bind your button to your logic behind. And it's very simple. You just, this is your function. Click me, baby, one more time. Every single function that you declare as a command, you will be able to see it here. Every single public variable that you declare, you will be able to see it here. As long as you declare that this is your view model. So right now we're doing it the right fancy way, the MVVM way of binding data between our model and our, our views. And that's how it's supposed to be done, guys. So we're gonna use this function and we're just gonna watch it do its thing. We're going to be able to run functions from our model in our view and see how the view updates from the code that's running on the background without ever having to actually do code behind or that weird stuff that spins that people say that's called data binding for some reason. Okay, so here we go. There we go, guys. It's working just as it's supposed to be. And as you can see, <laughs> it's not adding more. It's staying that way. We're going to try and fix that. This is normal, guys. There will always be weird stuff happening here and there. Here it is, guys. My mistake. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was supposed to do it like this. OK. And now when we update the app, it will run and it will update, add one to that value of that variable each time we update. So here we go. There we go, guys. As you can see, our button is working. It's running a function from our model. No code behind. It's directly in the model. It's binded doing Samarin bindings, and it's updating the UI in real time with the click of a button. How fun is this, guys? Clicking a button and watching the numbers go up. Imagine this is your bank account. Wouldn't this be super awesome? Okay, so I hope this was a very useful tutorial, guys. Hope it was very helpful. And now you know how to do actual real summer and data binding between your model, not your code behind, and your UI. UI connected to your model, the fancy Microsoft safe way that they declared, that is the correct way of doing it. And we don't have weird text spinning around in the screen, which would be totally, absolutely ridiculous. And no other tutorial teaches this for now on YouTube. Hope it was really useful, guys. Take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to start businesses in technology, making apps and stuff, I'm the guy. I will be continue to I will continue to be updating, uh, adding videos about about programming, making apps, and making businesses with apps and that kind of stuff. So take care, guys. Goodbye.